Hey everybody, um, for some reason today I'm not going to show you my face, um, but what I am going to show you is different cast off that I use for socks that's super stretchy. Um, what I find is that for the, um, I think it's the Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off, like it's very stretchy but it leaves the sock kind of flared at the top, just not really something that I appreciate. Sorry, it's not really focusing. There we go. Um, it just looks a little messy. So I've done it on a couple of my socks over time. They just stay really frayed. Um, it's a nice enough bind off, but just not overly. This one I didn't even do in pattern. You can see it's all knit stitches. Um, but yeah, so there's those. Um, the thing I really like are the, the cuff down cast on that's really stretchy. So that one's great. Um, but how do we get that when we bind off from toe up? So I think I've discovered it. Um, so this is a recent cast off that I did. Uh, these are my Christmas socks. So as you can see, it's not flared at the top and it's still like as stretchy as the fabric. So in terms of how I did that, I'm just going to show you quickly. Sorry about my scratchy needles. My favorite needles broke last night while I was finishing this sweater. Um, so this is a sweater cuff. It's the same if you're doing sock. I prefer to do this in a two by two rib. So that's what we have here is two knit stitches and two purl stitches rib. And okay, so I'm just going to show you exactly what I do. So I'm at the part where I'm going to cast off. So I will just, sorry, this is a little awkward. I've never done a video like this before. Okay, so I'll do my first knit because it is a knit two part. So I've done my knit. Sorry, I'm trying to hold it where I'm not blocking it. So then I'm going to do a yarn over. So you can see I brought my yarn from the back around to the front, which then crosses over back to the back. Then I will knit my next stitch. So essentially I have a big gaping hole. <laughs> Not ideal, um, but what you do is pick up the first stitch. You can actually pick up both at the same time, sorry. I'm normally a lot faster, I'm just uh, trying to do this slowly. Okay, so pull that one over and then pull the first one over. So although you do a yarn over, you still cast off both. Okay, then don't do another yarn over, but bring your yarn to the front and purl your next stitch. Okay, then take your first one and bind off over that purl stitch. Okay, then before we purl the next one, I will do a yarn over and a purl. So I'm doing a yarn over every other stitch. Okay, and slip two off. Okay, so now I'm going back to knits. Knit one, bind off, yarn over, knit the second one, and cast off, bind off, cast off, two. Okay, so you can do them together like that as I just did. You can do them one at a time, whatever makes you feel more comfortable. Um, take your time with it. As you can see, it's already, it's stretchy. Um, it doesn't feel overly stretchy at this point, but then neither, it's the same stretchiness as the fabric. Um, so I'll just do it one more time to show you. So now I'm gonna go back to yarn over, or sorry, to purl. So I brought the yarn to the front, purled one, and bind off, then yarn over, purl the second one, and bring it off. So now it's a knit. Now it's a knit, so I will just go and knit, no yarn over, and then a yarn over, and the second knit. Okay, 
So you can see it 